So I was going to ask, for an industry based in LA, not a lot of movies are actually shot in LA anymore, and it was nice to see a film in Los Angeles. Yeah. Can you talk about that choice, especially since the original on which this is based was set in New York? Yeah, but we wanted to use Los Angeles uh, as its own as its own culture, I guess, mm -hmm. and, 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 and very much its own character within the story. Um, excuse me. So um, there are very different, I mean, especially in the 21st century, LA to me represents uh, a kind of win-lose mentality in so many ways. And so it, it's a great it's a great foundation upon which to build a story about gambling. And yeah. in terms of the, 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 the gambling worlds, the specific gambling worlds of table gambling or you know, there, there, are, there are many different forms of illegal gambling that happen in LA, whether it be the poker games up in, in the hills or the blackjack um, sort of career town gambling dens. So it was, it was the perfect place to do it. Yeah, I guess in many ways, just moving to LA for many people is a gamble, right? So you get that spirit of what might happen yeah. if you said it in LA. Yeah, no, I think cool. you can, I, I, when I first moved there and started, I made my first, my, my first Hollywood film after having moved to LA, I, I was very conscious of the fact that if it didn't go well, I would be, uh, I would be um, you know, putting all in black and coming up red. Nice. Um, I love the use of music in film, and this movie really uses music. Can you talk about those choices, how you picked songs? Because I think you're credited as one of the music supervisors. Yeah. So how did that, how, how was that collaboration? Well, we, we, we were set out with this idea of creating a soundtrack to Jim, his life, and how he sees the world, at least initially in the film, which is you're a genius or you're nothing, and there's nothing in between. And so we therefore had this opportunity to cherry pick you know, really, truly great genius artists of our time and previous decades. So Dinah Washington, Bob Dylan, mm -hmm. Sixto Rodriguez, all of these. Yeah, the soundtrack was great. Yeah, yeah. Um, your last movie, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, is very different than this one. Did you find you have a preference between the kind of bigger spectacle movies or more of a character-driven piece? Well, I think what drew me to Rise in the first place was was integral to the main character, Caesar, and his story, and this Spartacus journey that he takes, this kind of young chimpanzee that mm -hmm. becomes intelligent and then becomes this leader of a revolution. Um, and he's a guy, he, he's, he's, he's an animal that rages against the machine. And uh, in a funny sort of way, that's not dissimilar to Jim. He's an outsider from society. He wants to break free of these social trappings. So it's, it's not that different in a, in a way. Um, and I've always loved exploring those characters. And especially, I guess, in light of, you know, Bob Orsi coming off Star Trek Three, is that the kind of thing, are we maybe going to see you move into doing Star Trek Three or Star Wars, all these rumors kind of coming around, are you going to move back into that direction? I think it always comes down to story for me, and, and I love science fiction. I love what it can do and how, what it can convey and how it can be a mirror for us as a species. Um, so any opportunity to tell a great story within the sci-fi genre is, is good for me. Okay. All right, great. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. Cool. Hey, everyone. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.